Hello, hello, guys. How you doing? Hello, teacher. Welcome, Hi, welcome. Teacher. Good evening. Welcome, welcome. How are you today? How was your day? What did you do today? Edma, what did you do today? I'm fine, teacher. Um, I do prepare the dinner. I have dinner with my family. I'm ready for this class. All right, that's good, that's good. Hello, Yancy, Melanie, how are you? Fine, teacher. How was your day? Yeah, so so. <laughs> and what did you do today? Tired. Very tired. You feel tired? Yeah. You had a long day? Long, long day. Oh, wow. Wow. Excellent. Excellent. Hello, Norma Lizano. How are you? Hello, teacher. Hello, hello. Welcome. How are you? Thank you. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? I'm excellent. I'm excellent. Ready? Are you ready for the class? Yes, I'm ready. Okay, that's good. That's good. All right, guys, let's go ahead and get started. I would like for us to look at the information that we were looking at yesterday's class. What do you remember from yesterday's class? What topics did we discuss? What do you remember? What can you tell me? What does she look like? Description. Um, let's see. Conversation. Okay, conversation. What does he look like? What else? What else do you remember? ¿Qué más se acuerdan de ayer? What does he look like? What else? She's very tall. Okay, she's very tall. Okay, very good. What other vocabulary do you remember? This description, the people picture mm -hmm. uh, of the hair, the age, uh, the good luck. Very good. They're describing the age, what do they look like, the height. Excellent, excellent. Uh, let me see. Let me have Blanca Guadalupe. Uh, can you describe your dad? Hello, Blanca Guadalupe. Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. All right. Can you describe your dad using the vocabulary from yesterday's class? Yeah. Friendly. Okay. Can you give me a complete sentence? My sister is very fr friendly. Okay. My sister is very friendly. All right. Can you describe her appearance? No, remember. <laughs> okay, all right. Can sure. somebody, yes. yes. Uh, así como las que hicimos ayer, por ejemplo. The, my mother is pretty. She has uh, brown hair, short brown hair. Mm -hmm. uh, she has blue, blue eyes. 
Um, the cat is yellow hair. Um, the cat is yellow hair or the cat has yellow, yellow, yellow hair? Has yellow hair. Has yellow hair. Has yellow hair. The oh. teacher is very funny. Thank he you. Has a short black hair. No hair. <laughs> <laughs> bald. The teacher is bald. <laughs> okay. It's a okay. Very good. Very good. Uh, let me have Heber. Heber, what information do you remember about yesterday's class? Um, I remember a uh, talk about this family, and I remember talk about my sister. Uh, they are very small, when all my family is very, sh very short. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good, very good. Thank you, Herbert. Uh, let me have um, Jose Luis. Jose Luis, Hello. can you describe someone? Uh, my case, my father. My father is tall and he has a brown. Um, it is, sorry, uh, he has long hair. And it's very cool. Nice. All right. Good. Good. Uh, so it looks like everybody has uh, understanding about this vocabulary. It looks like everybody understands uh, the topic that we are talking about. At this moment, does anybody have any questions referring to the information that we have been discussing today? Do you have any questions? Nobody? All right. Uh, how do you say kamanances? More, more. Dimples. Dimples. Good job. <laughs> Dimples. How do you say fleco? Fleco. Tiene luces en el fleco. <laughs> Repeat. Bangs. 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 She, she has bangs in her... No, no. She has highlights in her bangs. Highlights. She has... Highlights in her bangs. She has highlights in her bangs. She has highlights in her bangs. All right. How do you say Moreno? Drag. Dark skin. Dark skin, dark skin, right? How do you say piel blanca? White skin. White skin, white skin, very good. Right, it looks like everybody dominates uh, this topic. Uh, let me have one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer. Somebody. All right. Let Hi. me. Okay. Jenny, Jenny, please describe one of your co workers. Mm. Appearance. 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 Mm, my co worker, co worker, are mm, white king. Mm -hmm. Uh, are are white skinned or is white is skin? white is uh -huh. uh, uh, para decir tiene cabello he has she has she has she has a uh, red short hair okay and dimple 
Huh? Is tall. Do we say she has dimples or she is dimples? She has. She has dimples. Uh huh. Uh huh. She's tall. She is tall. Okay. Uh, ¿Cómo se dice delgado? Thin. Thin. And thin. And thin. 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 Okay. All right. Excellent. All right, guys, it looks like everybody understands uh, a lot of this vocabulary referring to describing people. I would like for us to go ahead and continue moving forward. We're going to be looking at the next exercise, which is coming from the video. She is very tall. We did this yesterday. This is going to be a review. Adjectives of appearance. Can everybody hear? I hear you have a new Hello. girlfriend, Randy. Can everybody yes. hear? Okay. Her name's okay. Ashley, and she's okay. gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. All right, let me have two wow, volunteers. Is... Two volunteers. Me, teacher. Okay, who said me? Who was that? Blanca. Blanca, okay, Blanca, you will be Emily. Another volunteer. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Can you me, teacher? Yo, Jose. Me. All right, Jose. Jose yes. is going to be Randy. Action. I hear you. You have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley and she is gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she is very tall. How, how tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is here, Harry? Hair. 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 Okay. She, she has beautiful red hair. And how or is she? Uh, I don't know. She won't tell me. Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Excellent pronunciation. Good job. Okay, now Blanca selects somebody and ¿Quién más estaba leyendo? Blanca and who else? Uh, me, Jose. Okay, and Jose selects somebody. Uh, okay. Maybe Edwin is here. Edwin, Edwin, okay, Edwin, you are going to be Randy. Um, Nubia Morales. And Nubia Morales is going to be Emily. Ready, go. Okay. Hello, teacher. 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 Her name's Ashley, and she's gorgeous. Really? What's gorgeous. 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 Really? Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Really? What does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow. That is tall. What what color is her hair? Hair. She has beautiful red hair. 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 She has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She won't tell me. Excellent. Excellent. Awesome. Good job. Okay, 
go ahead and select somebody, Nubia, and select somebody, Edwin. Um, Herbert. Oh. Okay, Herbert, you're going to be Randy and? Susanna. Susanna is going to be Emily. Okay. I hear you have a new girlfriend, Randy. Yes, her name is Ashley and she is gorgeous. Really? That's does she look like? Well, she's very tall. How tall? About six feet two, I suppose. Wow, that is tall. What color is her hair? She she has beautiful red hair. And how old is she? I don't know. She once told me. Okay. All right. Perfect. Perfect. Okay. Uh, does anybody have any questions in regards to this activity, the pronunciation, the vocabulary, or anything like that? Any questions? Somebody? Okay. Now, what I would like for us to do is take a look at the next activity. For the next activity, we are going to be moving forward. Section number 4.4. .4. In this session, you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. In esta clase, aprenderán cómo describir, preguntar, y responder preguntas acerca de la apariencia. Listen, please. Hi, Describing in this lesson, people. you will learn how to describe, ask, and answer questions about appearance. Let's go over the audio program. Notice the questions they use to ask for the information needed. Describing people. General appearance. What does she look like? She's tall with red hair. She's gorgeous. Does he wear glasses? Yes, and he has a beard. Age. How old is she? She's about 32. She's in her 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. Height. How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. She's 6 feet 2. How tall is he? He's quite short. Hair. How long is her hair? It's medium length. What color is his hair? It's dark brown. It's light brown. He has brown hair. When you want to know how someone is physically, we use what look like. For age-related questions, we use how old. For height, we use how tall. The rest of the question will depend on who you're talking about. Okay, She's in her so if we're going to be asking uh, the appearance, la apariencia, we're going to say, what does she look like? And if you're going to ask if they wear glasses, glasses, does he wear glasses? But if you're going to talk about age, like that, you're going to say, how old is she? Oh, how old is he? If you want to ask about height, quiere preguntar sobre el, la altura, you say, how tall is she? Or how tall is he? Here, you, if you're talking about the hair, el pelo, how long is her hair? ¿Cómo tiene de largo su pelo? What color is his hair? ¿Qué color es su pelo? Any questions about this information? Teacher, esto es con respecto a apariencia, apariencia física. 
estamos cuando hablamos de, no recuerdo de qué, qué es eh, sonriente, enojado, eh, cómo es el auxiliar, o no recuerdo, el like siempre se ocupa. Ah, what is he like? What is he like? Uh -huh, correct. In that case, we say, what is he like? And then you say, he is friendly. Or what is she like? What is she like? And you respond, she is, uh, let's say, intelligent. Mm -hmm. That is correct. Is that your question? Alba, is that your question? Yes, thank you. Okay, excellent, excellent. Another question. Another question. Okay, so for this activity, what we are going to do is we are going to be describing somebody. You're going to write it here in the discussion forum. 30s. How old is he? He's in his 20s. You're going to go Height. over here? How tall is she? She's 1 meter 88. Where it says discussion. Discussion. You're going to go ocult. You're going to go. Oops. Añade una publicación. And you're going to go. Describing. Describing. Oops. You could say my father. Mother. Brother. Sister, son, teacher, right? Whatever. You, you decide who do you want to describe. And then you're going to write here the question. For example, number one says, what does she look like? So we're going to say, uh, what does your father look like what does your father look like and then you're going to write the answer right you're going to say for example he is short he is short he has curly black hair. He has dimples. Then you're going to ask the next question. Does he wear glasses? Does he wear glasses? And then you're going to say, yes, he does. My father, he wears glasses. Yes, he does. Then we're going to go and say, how old is he? How old is he? Then we say, he is 60 years old. And then we go over here and we say, how tall is he? How tall is he? And then you respond, he is, and we see five, five feet, uh, six inches, for example. And then we say, uh, 
hair? How long is his hair? Okay, is it a puse? He is is uh, curly. I know. How long is his hair? How long is his hair? He has short hair. How long is his hair? He has short hair. Okay, and then we say, what color is his hair? I put that right there. I can say, what color is, what color are his eyes? What color are his eyes? Right, I say, he has brown eyes. And if I want to say, for example, uh, he has brown eyes, if I want to say, what is his skin color? What is his skin color? Right, we say he has brown skin. He has brown skin, okay? And then when you finish, you're going to go here and put enviar. So once you put enviar, it should appear here, just like that. Any questions? Any questions? Any questions? Okay. All right. So right now we're going to work in pairs. And we're going to look at, we're going to have pair work. All right, I'm going to let everybody so that you can share the screen. So that you can share the screen. Ready? Let's go. El, vi el, el ejemplo que dio el teacher puede ser de la mamá ok what is your mother ajá uh -huh. what uh, your what mother uh, Jenny is so beautiful Girl. She is tall. Her hair, hair is black.
All right, is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? Is everybody finished? I'm no. finished. No. You're not finished? You're not finished? No finish. No finish. Oh, okay, that's okay. Give me just a couple of minutes. I'm going to take the attendance. Give me one moment, please. We're going to take the attendance right now. So when I call your name, please say present. Okay, let me have the first person is Alba Luz. Mendez, present teacher. All right, Mendez, Campos, yes, correct. Mm, present. Ana Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Blanca Guadalupe. Present teacher. All right. Carlos Ernesto. Present. Excellent. Cristina Claribel. Present teacher. All right. Edma Azalia. Present teacher. Good. Edwin Alexander. Present teacher. Nice. Efraín, Emilio. Efraín, Emilio. Acevedo. He's absent. He's what? He writes in the chat. Oh. Present teacher, I'm here. All right, excellent. Thank you. The next one, Fatima, Elisa. Present teacher. Okay. Fatima, Noemi. Fatima, Noemi. is absent, okay. Herber Eliseo. I hear teacher. Good. Isaura Evelia. Present teacher. Good. Josia Alexiomar. 
Present teacher, present. Thank you. Jonathan Josue. Jorge Alberto. Present teacher. All right. Jose Enrique. Present. Okay. Jose Luis. Hello, teacher. I am here. All right. Thank you. Maria Elizabeth. Present teacher. Thank you. Nelson Adán. Nelson Adán. The chat teacher. It's absent. In the chat. In the chat. Yes. Nelson Adán. Right. Thank you. Norma Elizabeth. Present. All right. Nubia, no. Norma Lizano. Present teacher. All right. Nuvia Cristina. All right. Oscar Alexander. Present teacher. Excellent. Sylvia Lisette. Sylvia Lisette. In the chat. In the chat. Mm -hmm. Sylvia Lisette. All right, the next one, Susana Isabel. I'm here. Thank you. Yancy Melanie. Present. Okay. Jenny Carolina. Present teacher. Jocelyn Yvette. Okay, good job. Excellent guys work. Uh, now, does anybody have any questions about this activity? Any questions? Anybody about stupid. About this activity? No, okay. Let me have one volunteer. I want to hear your example. Let me have one volunteer. I want to hear your exam. Me, teacher. Okay. Jens, Jansi, Melanie. Let me hear your exam. What does your mother look like? She is short. She has short blonde hair. She has dimples. She is a very beautiful. Does she wear glasses? Yes, she does. How old, how, how old is she? She is 57 years old. How tall is she? She is, no sé cómo se puede decir, unos 50. <laughs> eh, unos 50. Ajá. Uh -huh. oh, ¿Cuántos pies hay en un metro? No sé. <laughs> Three. Okay. Three, three, three feet. So, si three es feet. un metro, digamos, es three feet, about three feet, four feet, three or four feet, or four or five three, feet. Three feet. Okay. Okay. How long is her hair? She has short hair. What color are her eyes? She has black eyes. What is her skin color? She has white skin, white skin. 
Okay, she has white skin. Very good. Uh, I think that it's probably not black eyes, maybe brown eyes. No, very black. Okay, all right. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you, thank you. Uh, another volunteer. Good job, Yancy. Another volunteer. Jenny Carolina. Okay, Susanna yes, wants to participate. Yes, Susanna. Este, en cuanto a las estaturas, tengo una duda. Yo siempre, cuando respondamos en, en, en respecto a la estatura, lo vamos a decir así, en, este, por pies. No, 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 no. Ese es el sistema americano. Usted lo tiene que decir en el sistema salvadoreño. One meter, five inches. One meter, 33 centimeters. Yeah, you do it in mm -hmm. Spanish. Uh -huh. Okay, thanks. Yes, of course. Okay, Susana, action. Susana, please share your exercise. Okay. Um, what does your mother look like? She's short. She has curly black hair. Uh, her skin is brown. Um, her eyes are black. And that's all. Okay, okay. Okay, guys, eh, tenemos un anuncio. Eh, dice, ¿será que está? Eh, dice así, confirman si todos está bien de su parte para la clase de hoy. Eh, dice, eh, uh, que les están enviando los, eh, los emails para el próximo módulo. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Buenas. Oh, okay. Buenas Hello. Buenas noches. Guys, everybody. Uh, Buenas pause. noches, un gusto. Me les saluda Jorge Solor, ¿no? de parte de Inglés Corporativo. Este, estudiantes, les quiero brindar lo que es una información referente a la reinscripción al siguiente módulo. En este caso, eh, como ustedes sabrán, ¿verdad? Se está llevando lo que es una secuencia, tanto con gente a las notas. Le comento que para poder este, reinscribirse se necesita lo que es el formulario que ustedes llenaron, ¿verdad? Que serían las tres paginitas llenadas a mano, firmadas, más su documento de UNIT. Eh, eh, ese sería el primer punto. El siguiente punto a solicitar sería el comprobante de manual que a cada uno de ustedes se les ha enviado. Recuerde que lo deberían de este, imprimir, ¿verdad? Deben de llenarlo este, también a mano con su firma, ya que todos estos documentos se envían ante INSAFOR de que se está siguiendo con regularidad lo que es el curso y todo va bien, ¿verdad? Que ustedes están, eh, lo están recibiendo y ejecutando. El tercer punto sería eh, a solicitar lo que son las notas. En este caso, eh, ustedes sabrán, ¿verdad? Que estamos trabajando con lo que, soy, con lo que es la plataforma de aprendizaje. Se pide también de que tengan llenado lo que es la sección 1 y 2 y la sección 3 y 4. En este caso, eh, lo que corresponde a la tercera semana, ¿verdad? Así que este que quedarían pendientes dos exámenes, pero eso usted como se saben se va tratando de cada semana en semana. Así que esos serían las tres pautas, ¿verdad? Que necesitamos los tres requisitos. Eh, bueno, volveré a repetir. Sería el formulario, ¿verdad? Con sus documentos, comprobante de manual y que ustedes vayan eh, con sus notas actualizadas y todo vaya bien. Así que eh, toda esta información este, la solicitamos el día jueves, a jueves a más tardar. Si usted ya envió sus documentos, haga mención de, 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 
esto al gestor, ¿verdad? Que usted ya los ha enviado, o en el grupo. Puede escribir su nombre completo, yo ya envié mi documentación, por ejemplo. Así que es... Si cualquier duda o consulta, pues estamos a la orden, puede hacerlo eh, ahorita si gustan, no hay problema. O referente puede ser el, el, al WhatsApp, al... Questions, questions. El grupo de WhatsApp, eh, es la que, el que enviaron el miércoles. Cualquier duda o consulta, quedamos a la orden. Muchas gracias. Correcto, sí, el comprobante de manual. Eh, el formulario de inscripción es el que donde usted que debe de, de firmar, ¿verdad? ¿verdad? Que dice unas pautas que usted está... Sí, correcto, que usted está renovando lo que es el curso, ¿verdad? Que usted lo está recibiendo. Ok, gracias. Ok, perfecto. ¿Cómo podemos saber si lo recibimos? Muchas gracias, este licenciado. Sabe. Cualquier duda o consulta, estamos a la orden. Que tenga feliz. Eh, eh, la señorita Yancy tiene una pregunta. ¿Cómo podemos saber? Porque yo se lo envié claro, a dígame. Don Bautista. Y... Okay. Eh, Pero sí, por email. coordinador, correcto. Ok. Pero no me... Solo es me... coordinador. En este caso, si ustedes entran en lo que es al... Ok, en este caso, eh, si ustedes entran en lo que es el WhatsApp del curso, ahí aparecen diferentes gestores, ¿verdad? Eh, eh, pueden escribir incluso a Jason Bautista, ¿verdad? Ya que es el, el coordinador de, de cada área. Pueden hacerlo con él y, o cada uno de los gestores que ustedes vean. Ahí van a estar pendientes eh, de recibir toda la documentación. Igual pueden hacer mención al correo, al, al correo o al WhatsApp, no hay problema. Una pregunta. Hola. Eh, Fátima tiene otra pregunta. Ok, sí, sí, dígame, Fátima. No, y no podemos cambiar el horario. Como un poco más temprano. Ok, en este caso, al finalizar el curso, eh, ustedes pueden hacer este el cambio de horario, no hay problema. En este caso, ya una vez inscritos, tienen que finalizar. Ok, no, 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 yo decía para el próximo curso. Muy bien, de acuerdo, si no hay, hay algo otra este pregunta, pues, este, licenciado, podemos continuar. Muchísimas gracias. All right, thank you so much, George. Thank you. All right, guys, let me have one more volunteer that would like to share the description. Me teacher. All right, Jose Luis, let me hear yes. your, your description. Uh, what my father looks like. He is alone and does he wear glass? Yes, he wear glass. Polo, he, he is 30 years old. How tall is he? He is seven feet three. How long? He is a high. Uh, he has a high leg. What color are his eyes? He has a uh, black eyes. What is a skin color? It's brown. Perfect. Very good. Very good, Jose Luis. Another volunteer. Another volunteer. Me All right, go ahead, Christina. What does my father look like? He is short, the curly black hair. Does he wear glass? Yes, he does. How old is it? He is a um, 16 year old. How tall is it? He is um, one me ¿cómo se dice metro? Met one meter. One meter 60. One meter 60. How, how long is, he, is his hair? He has short hair. Uh, what, what color are his eyes? Eyes? Yes. He has brown eyes. 
What is his skin color? He has light skin. Nice, nice, very good. All right, I know that everybody wants to participate. I know that, but we need to move forward. So for the next activity we're going to be looking at is 4.6, knowledge check, instructions, write questions to match these statements. Instrucciones, escriba las preguntas correspondiente a las respuestas. All right. Uh, did everybody finish this activity? Yes. Yes. Yes, I finished. Everybody yes, finished? Finish. Okay. Yeah. Number one, Josia. How old is your brother? How old is your brother? Jose Luis, number two. No, teacher, what section is? This is section number 4.6. Oh, oh. How tall are you? How tall are you? Yes. How tall are you? Okay. Number three. Cristina Claribel. What does he look like? What does he look like? What does he look like? Good. Mm -hmm. uh, he or she? Teacher, está escribiendo en la, en la cuatro. Es uh, he en la three. Sorry, sorry. What does he look like? What does he look like? Okay, thank you. Number four, Edma. Number four, Edma. How long is your sister? Uh, how long is your your sister's your hair. sister's hair. hair hair number five Yancy Melanie number five uh, Yancy oh. sorry how long is Hello? Uh, I can't hear you. No, me oyen. Me oyen. Okay, now I can hear you. Hello? How is... old is... are I... you? How old are you? I am 40 years old. Okay. The next one, number six, Blanca. Sorry, teacher, I am not finished. All right, number six, Nuvia. What do they look like? What do, do they, they look like? Look like, all right. Number okay. seven, Yeni, Carolina. How tall is she? Is he? How, how tall, tall is, is he? Good. All right. Huh? How do you, how do they look like? No era what? Uh, which one? Uh, six. Number six. Number six. 
A mí me salió what do, you, what do se they puede, look like? Oh, se la puede de las dos formas. Ah, ok. They are nice, beautiful, and very tall. What do they look like? Ok. Good, good. Ok, good job, guys. Any questions? Questions, questions. Somebody have a question? Question, question. Nobody. Ok. Now, we're going to be looking at listening skills. In this session, participants will listen to a description of five people in order to develop participants' listening skills. En esta clase, los participantes escucharán una descripción de cinco personas con el fin de desarrollar las habilidades aud aud auditiva. Listen, please. Listen, please. No nos cargo. Ah, este es el que no carga, este right? Este no los cargo, no. Ok. Y todavía no lo han arreglado. Pero ya lo hicimos. Ya lo hicimos. ¿Cómo lo hicieron? Encontramos un audio ahí en YouTube que es similar. Lo envió. <risa> Copia. <risa> ok. No, All right. no nos dimos por vencido, así que. Ok, ok. So, number one is good looking. Looking. Number two is pretty tall. Pretty tall. Number next is mustache. 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 Number two right is Red, red hair. Red. The next one is curly. curly. The next one is pretty tall. Pretty tall. tall. The next one is long. long. Blonde long. hair. Teacher, ¿y a usted por qué le parecen las respuestas ahí? Ah, porque yo tengo el acceso administrativo. <risa> okay. yeah. A nosotros nos aparece solamente después de contestar. Sí. Yeah. Yeah, sorry, ya sorry. voy a llorar. <risa> the, the next one is fairly short. The next one is heavy. 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 The next one is very tall. Very tall. Very tall. Oh. And the last mm. one is slim. All right. Repeat, please. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Good looking. Pretty tall. Mustache. Mustache. Red hair. Red hair. Curly hair. Curly hair. Curly. Pretty tall. Pretty tall. Long blonde hair. Long blonde hair. Fairly short. Short, heavy, 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 very tall, very tall, and slim. And slim. slim. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to stop right here. I hope that everybody had a good time learning a lot of vocabulary. Remember that the key to retention is repetition. So practice, memorize, use the vocabulary. Practice, repeat, repeat, and repeat. See you tomorrow. Good night. Bye-bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good night.